Hello again. Uh, first of all, I want to apologise for this vlog being a little late. I uh, normally put them up on Sundays, but it's now Tuesday. It's just been a bit of a busy weekend with uh, the Jubilee and everything that's been going on. Uh, so yeah, the Jubilee was this weekend, two extra bank holiday days. It's been pretty good. Uh, had it had it off completely, didn't have to work today because uh, my time at the BBC starts tomorrow, so I've got it off. But uh, normally would have to work on bank holidays, which is a bit... Which sucks a little bit, but it's uh, yeah, it's been nice to have a good four-day weekend with the with the parents away. It's been quite quiet around the house. And managed to get a few things done uh, for the jubilee uh, last night. We went up to the Dangs, me and a friend. But um, it was billed as one of Bristol's biggest events, but it was pretty rubbish, really. There wasn't really much there. Just a a few little marquees and a helicopter and some balloons, but. Um, on the description it said there was going to be jazz music and party atmosphere, but it wasn't really all it was bigged up to be. If anything, uh, a party we saw walking back from the Danes was a lot better. There was a, a nice little street party going on in, in uh, Clifton Village where everybody got together. They had like a hog row, some music in the road, there was dancing. It really felt like a, a jubilee celebration and that people were actually you know, getting into the swing of things. Uh, this week I finished my time at Inspired Times magazine, uh, well at least my time going into the office. So I've written four pieces for the uh, Backpacks magazine, two will be printed in the magazine and two online. So there will be a few bylines, bylines coming up soon. Uh, I was a bit gutted that I didn't actually get to spend any time on the actual Inspired Times magazine as that's what I was really looking forward to. but. Um, the editor has given me the chance to write a piece for them, so I'm going to be doing that over the next couple of days about the occupied movement and the uh, positive side of it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I also got some feedback as it came to an end. Um, she was really pleased with how I'd worked over the, the couple of weeks that I've been there. Uh, she gave me some positive feedback and some positive criticism as well. Sometimes I rush things a little bit and she said, you know, just from now on try and slow it down and um, Obviously you're going to get pieces back once you wrote them, but once you get them back the first time really Focus on what's been said and really hold it for a long time before giving it back make sure you're happy with every single sentence and Yeah, I, I, well, I wouldn't say I rush stuff. I'm just a quick worker and I don't like be spending too much time on one thing so After a while I just kind of get through it. I found in quite a lot of work experience they've been quite surprised at how quickly I've given work back. So um, maybe yeah, just going to have to reel that in a little bit. Uh, tomorrow I start at the BBC which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I'll be there four days a week for until uh, the end of June and I'm really looking forward to actually being with such an established organisation and something that you know I don't particularly watch BBC Points West News because I have, a, I suppose I have a bit of a problem with their news team, but hopefully, you know, when I'm there, it will be good experience and it'll be worth my time. Also, uh, I'm going to be getting the bus there. I'm not going to be riding because I don't want to turn up in my suit or sweaty and everything. And this is going to give me an opportunity to read a lot more, which I'm quite looking forward to. I haven't read very much recently because I've always look on the bus. It's 40 minutes, so that you know, that's it's over an hour of reading there and back which you know can go a long way especially if you're doing it quite a few times a week so um, really looking forward to getting through a build off of books I'm slowly getting also because I'm not riding I'm gonna start going back to the gym once I get back and once I get back on the night from the BBC and really you know starting to work out there again because uh, obviously I won't be cycling the 80 to 100 miles I do a week at the minute so um, gonna get an early night tonight wish me luck for tomorrow bye